Welcome to our garden in Nottingham. I just wanted to show you three things which are pretty unusual that we have lying around our house. Two of them are connected with my grandfather, Joseph Polyakov. Here he is. And this was when he was quite old, the age I remember him. He was born four years after Mendeleev proposed the periodic table, so a long time ago. And the other object is a really interesting thing that was produced by my father-in-law, my wife's father, John Keane, who was an excellent health physicist. Well, you can see that my grandfather had hair that was much better behaved than mine. And he was a fantastic inventor, always inventing things. And he got really cross that when he used the comb, as he combed his hair, the comb got charged with static electricity, so the hair started standing up. So this isn't a problem for me, but he found it really irritating and he invented a solution. And this is his solution. It is a plastic comb, but it has the back is conducting metal so that when an electric charge started to build up, it would discharge itself through the metal. So he could comb away. This is the first time I've ever combed my hair on film. He could comb away and not charge up his hair. I think he patented it, but nobody was really interested in it. The second invention is something that I have no idea exactly what it was for. Perhaps one of you can tell me. It's basically a pair of spectacle frame. So I put it on grandfather and then explain to you what it is. It's already slightly broken, but so it's a pair of glasses frame here. And underneath is a very narrow tube one ending under each nostril. And when I first got it, there was a rubber tube at the end of the metal one, which presumably went up your nostrils. And then down here is another rubber tube connected to some sort of union. So something was either pushed up here or sucked up there into your nose. And I have no idea what it was for. It may have been for some sort of cranky medical treatment. It might be something much more sophisticated. Professor, how come you've got this and how did you get it? I think it was found when my parents were clearing their house and my father probably said, Martin, you'd like to have this, take it. And I've had it ever since. So I'd really like to hear from any of you who can think what this might be for. The third object on the face of it looks a bit boring. It's a block of plastic, particularly a block of the plastic called Perspex or Plexiglass. But what's interesting is what's inside it, or alternatively, what's not inside it. John Keane, my father-in-law, built in about 1969 a very powerful electron accelerator. This was for cancer study and treatment. And if you put a block of perspex like this in front of the electron accelerator, pulses of electrons hit it and it charges up to a huge voltage. And then, and this is the exciting part, if you take simple thing like a screwdriver and touch it, all the electricity discharges essentially like a miniature lightning spark. But what's amazing is that as the spark comes out, it destroys the plastic. And so you get frozen inside it what is known in the trade as a perspex tree, but essentially is a frozen lightning spark. I think they look absolutely amazing. What do you do with that one, Professor? 
It's just an ornament. We keep it on the chimney piece above the fireplace. But I have seen similar ones at an institute in Germany where they were being used as the door handles for the visitors' hostel where the visitors, including me, stayed. <laughs>